Hey guys, welcome back to Buffy and me here at our farm. We have done a couple things differently. We sold some of our old buildings. Guy came in and bought them up for the lumber and wood that was in them, a few other things. We still got that one. We've got us a repair shop now, so now we can repair and work on our own machinery. Um, let's see here if we can pull this off. I'll zoom back out here a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. So we've got our chickens put in up here and we got our first wheat harvest. Now I haven't bought any chickens yet. Oh, we got our, we got our seeds bought take you around to show you the equipment so we're going to buy some chickens today I think and try to get them taken care of we've got this field growing canola I think and this may be soya bean I don't know which one but one is soya bean and one is canola for something different we've tried our first experiment of baling so we got the correct bagler that East I wanted to try out. Buffy said she thought the Randall was just fine. I said, well, yeah, but I want to try try out the uh, square bagler. Besides, it was on their Black Friday sale at the shop, so, you know, why not, right? We still got some supplies or grains left in the um, silo there that we haven't sold. We sold about half of what we have. So we didn't have to take out quite as big a loan. Uh, we still got our combine, but now we do have a wrapper. Uh, we sold the one tractor and bought us this new Holland. So we needed it pretty for some of this larger equipment. We got us a weeder now. Of course, there's our cultivator from before. We've got a sprayer. I've got our front end attachments. And of course, we still have our two um, case um, tractors here. It was kind of kind of sad we couldn't put on a front end attachment to the uh, case, and it actually kind of struggles to do the baler. So it's probably a good thing we bought that new Holland over there to. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, to um, do our, our bailing, or we'll eventually, since, oh, wait a minute, let's see. Did our worker take off yet? Uh, let's see what he got done. Okay, did he get all the grass planted? He did. We're going to try a couple applications of grass in this big field. So we can... Uh, Hopefully recoup some of our expenses from the loan. I'm gonna try a couple uh, a couple fields of it and see what happens. I want to get those um, bales picked up. I put it in our bailing uh, trailer over there. I think for the moment, yeah, let's just yeah. We may have to buy us another building. Uh, you know, for the moment, let's just park here. Besides, we need to check on our dog. I think he... He might be getting hungry. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, he was hungry. He was hungry. Good. Alright, so we got that taken care of. So let's go experiment. Nice tractor, nice tractor. Beautiful interior. Lots of electronic gizmos. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Let's get our um, bale fork and see if we can um, I hope this is the right one. I should have color-coded them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is our bail fork. 
Yeah, oh, no, that's our pallet for it. Nope. I was wrong. I was wrong. I want the one with the pointier end, I guess. Huh? We did deliver some grain over to the... Uh, yeah, see, bale spike. Oh yeah, baby. That's a zombie thing right there, you know. Let's go over to our trailer here. I want to see how we operate this. We can learn together, guys. We can learn together. Can I operate this from... Oh! I guess it won't let me... Maybe I have to be connected to it. Yeah, okay, let's let's connect to it. Let's oops. Ran in my ran in the corner there. Let's try that first. Let's see if we have to be connected for the settings. Let's see what we can do. Let's go inside the cab so it might be a little close. Unfold baler. That would probably be a good thing to do. Okay, so let's unfold the baler. Oh, I see. Alright, cool. Um, can I get it to do the other one instead? seem like there's a way to change the um, if I fold it again will it unfold the other side maybe not maybe the other side doesn't unfold no, that's fine that's fine we can make that work we can make that work. we'll just we'll just turn around here a little bit let's get that turned off though hopefully I won't crash into anything and tear down a tree We're still working on a patch for the controllers, and, uh, and it's it's difficult. I'm not a good driver to begin with, but um, uh, oh hell, I'm, <laughs> yeah, babe, let's get the right damn tool there. I'm not a good driver to begin with, and you guys have already seen that. Man, I'm telling you. Either the force feedback is comes on all the way, or there's no force feedback, and wrong one. I'm just curious. I, I was practicing earlier with the bales, trying to get better at this. And I'm not that much better. But you know what? Buffy don't give me a bad time, so maybe I should raise that up a little bit and then tip it this way and raise it up, tip it this way. Yeah. Let's see how that works. Anyway, I'm going to get this done, and when everything's loaded, let's take it to the barn and and uh, see what we can find. So, we'll be back in just a few minutes, guys. Well, before we finish off our baling, we need to get some fertilizing done on our fields here. So, we're going to get that started first. Crops are kind of coming up on us here, and and let's see, am I right? Yeah, it looks like that's the right button. Holy mackerel! Look at that damn thing! Oh, 
shoot. Okay, so I think we're going to be okay as far as bigger fields later on because it looks like this is definitely going to take care of spraying in a very short time here. Okay. Let's see how we do. They have released a few mods. Getting off the subject or out of the immersion of the game, they've released a few mods for some tractors and trailers and a few other things like that. Let's just, just do this. Why don't we just... I want to connect these two together, I think, and make them one, one thing. I think that's something new in this version, is you can actually... Once you buy a property around you, you can make the fields bigger and connect them together. I don't think you could do that in 17, though I'm not sure, because I'm far from being an expert. But, um... So they've got a few things that have changed. And, you know, like any game, they have a few things that... You know, I'm not sure. Can we miss that hillside? What do you think? Kind of worries me. If we're going to clip that or not. I definitely don't want to ruin that boom arm, right? Oh, that's close. That's close. Okay, that was close. I don't think we can do it in two paths, unfortunately. Looks like we're going to miss a little bit down the middle. So we're going to try that. And then, kind of like in Gold Crest, I never did. Damn. The controller. I mean, it's still easier than using the WASD keys, but still, woof, it's got uh, a reaction time of um, um, a race car. <laughs> you, you, you hit the steering wheel, and the next thing you know is, whoa, whoa. It's easier to drive, really, with the full, with the force feedback all the way on. It's it makes the steering very, very hard. It's like driving a vehicle that has power steering that the power steering has gone out on, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna fold that up for a minute and let's take a look at our map. My saving grace. I just love this little area down here. Uh, let's see filters growing Fertilize. Yeah, I missed a strip right there. All right, so do we want to spin the fertilizer to go get that last strip or not worry about it? What do you think? If you were a farmer, if a real-life farmer had done that, what would he do? Would he, would he fertilize that strip knowing he missed it, he or she? Or would... Yeah. I'd be curious to know what somebody would really do what a real farmer would do. Alright, well we're going to go ahead, just because I can, I'm going to go ahead and unfold it and we're going to do this. Anyway, we did run around town just a little bit and I, and I really want to take you guys and show you some of the area. And we'll get to that probably in the next episode. Alright, I'm going to finish this little strip off and then we're going to go sail, or sail, sail the bales. All right, guys. Be back in just a little bit. Okay, this is the last bale. There wasn't too many from this little wheat field, but I felt we didn't want to waste it. Eventually, we'll probably want to keep some of this if we're going to try doing any sheep or cattle or pigs. Yeah. 
we might want to keep some of this. Buffy's over there are spraying our grass field. Fertilizing it, I should say. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a really nice um, income from that. change tools. <laughs> uh, yeah, Buffy's going to yell at me. Anyhow, let's hook up the trailer and you don't have a barn on your property. Well, I think you can buy one. We can look in placements. Let me, let me get backed up here first. I love how it gives you that uh, help window down there. Now that might be because I have the tutorial thing turned on. Okay, fold the baler. Or trailer, excuse me. Okay, let's get that turned off. Let's look. Let's see if we can buy a barn. I know you can buy silos, uh, miscellaneous. Uh, water station. Nope, that don't look like it. Um, silos. Hayloft. I bet that's what you can do. Yeah, you can kill because you can keep wheat and barley. Hey, I'm not sure what that is. That kind of looks like our old barn, except it's a little nicer looking. Oh, this is where you buy your silage, silage pits to make silo. Or silage. Whatever. Okay, enough of that. We need to um, we need to find the barn, which I think yeah, there it is. So we could actually go around the left this way on our property. We'll just take that little cut through there, and oh, it looks like Buffy got done. Well, she might be in the house getting a snack then, because it's getting a little late in the afternoon. Okay, so let's take let's try this out. I have never done this, so this might be fun, especially with the uh, wheels working the way they are. But let's try this, and then we're going to come back and plow this field under, and let's get that picked up a little bit. I think we're not going to cut through the. Um, um, hilly, hilly area there. Let's let's cut down through here. Do you guys ever hear an accent on my voice when I pronounce certain words? I'm curious. I used to work with a guy who was from um, um, where was he from? Atlanta, maybe. He had come to work for Walmart. I can't remember if he's from Atlanta or where now, but. He used to always comment on my accent. Of course, I thought he had well, a southern accent, of course. I never thought of myself ever having an accent, but I guess... Which way do I want to go? This way? I mean, we've never been this way. We might as well take a look at it. I don't know if we own this or not. We could always try to come up and harvest a couple of trees and throw them in the back of our Mahindra and go see if we can... I had to go buy a chainsaw, because I'm pretty sure we don't have a chainsaw. Anyway, I know some of the words... Oh, man, check that field out. How would you... Okay, so that's not a field. That's actually the hill. <laughs> that looked like crop for a minute. And I was going to go, holy macro! See? See? Damn. So we have a repair shop. We don't have a fuel place yet. Okay, let's see here. What does this say? E.G. Miles Heat and Energy. Okay. E.G. Miles Heat and Energy. Where is your... It's 
going to far one. I know that there was a mod when I was watching somebody for there's a some people made a, a mod that actually picks up the bales in a bale trailer like this for you not like the one where you're using an FS 17 but I don't see the unload spot Okay, so let's go see what this says. Oh, I can't get it to access. That's been a small problem. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. I see it now. All right. Okay. Okay. Whew. We could be in trouble. I should probably should have left those. Buses see how close we can get here like I say I hope this auto unloads anyway there was a mod it was a dagger when he was using a dagger he was using a mod in uh, one of his let's play okay Oh, I didn't even did it. Okay, I didn't even see it. All of a sudden, I heard that beeping. I was looking at the menu. What did we make? Well, we made 3000 off of that. I didn't catch the per bale price. I should have looked at the per bale price. But that's all right. Okay, so it'll auto-unload, which is good, because I'm really bad at this. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to work on our fields. I'm sure Buffy is probably getting things ready, and so we can um, oh let's see I need to go get a spreader I think still no a wind row we need a wind row if we're going to do grass we're going to have a lot of money invested pretty quick uh, hopefully the grass will help us um, okay hold on a second that is so cool look at that Now, how many of you have grown up and had a junkyard or salvage yard like that when you were a kid? Yeah. That's, I think, is what I like about this map is it reminds me of where I kind of grew up as a kid. Yeah. It was not the worst of times. Nope, it really wasn't. It really wasn't. The car probably could have been better, but I can't complain. That's kind of why I couldn't, uh, or I didn't want to uh, not use this farm. This farm just reminds me of, um, uh, like, I, like I was telling you, Willis, Kansas, where my aunts lived. And even though this barn to our right doesn't look like my, oh my god, I forgot his name all of a sudden. I was just thinking about him. Um, he had like a blacksmith shop. Oh man, he's been gone so many years. Can't remember his name. God, that makes me feel bad. Anyway, that's kind of what it made me think of was his barn outside their home in Willis and and uh, I even un unloaded the right item. <laughs> All right, well, we're not going to get chickens now. We'll get chickens later, guys. Right now, I think we're going to take a break, get something to eat, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down there for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, and comment. Love comments. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.